Hello everyone, this is an FMAKE web tutorial showing you on how to get free apps that you would normally have to pay for on the App Store on your iPod or iPod Touch or iPhone. So you go to apptracker.org, uh, the link is right there, and it's also in the description. So here you can see we have um, all the apps you'd find on the App Store. You can search them, they have a search bar. You can also browse by category, such as games or some other category. And whenever you see an app that you'd like, you just click on it and you can go right into it and see more information about it. So I'm just going to take a random app here. And you can see a description. And you can also view it on iTunes. And it has all the information here that's originally on iTunes. You can also see some screenshots of it very useful just like in the App Store and at the bottom here is the download links which you'll be needing um, they have the latest version and any previous versions that you can download from so just click on the download link and it will take you to a download page and you just want to follow the instructions on that specific download page to get downloading with the app so now you can see I have the app right here in my downloads folder and double click on it to open it in iTunes to import it automatically. And there it is in iTunes. So let's get on to the next step which I'll show you right now. Okay, to continue now you must have your device jailbroken. The reason is, is you need to have it jailbroken to install the app on the iPhone or iPod Touch because Apple um, does not allow this obviously so it has to be jailbroken so you can bypass these restrictions so to do this just click on the link right there to um, a video a YouTube video that by Ty's iPhone help and he'll show you how to jailbreak your device it's actually pretty simple so just go ahead and do that and when you're done we'll get continuing on so we're going to um, launch Cydia here and you're going to go to manage manage tab and you're going to click on sources and then once this comes up you can see I already have the source it's haculo.us but for you since you don't have it yet just click edit which is on the top right and click add and enter haculo.us which is shown right there and then once you do that click add source I'm just going to click cancel since I already have the source in there and then what we're going to do is we're going to go to the search tab and we're going to actually get the package that needs to be installed by Cydia to import these apps. So search install you less, which I search right here. And then tap on that one right there, the result that comes up, Hacula.us, and you're just going to click install on the top right. I already have it installed so I can't show you, but just click install. Okay, so now that you have install us installed, we're going to go back into the manage tab and tap on sources again, and now you're going to go to your Hacula.us source, which you entered earlier. And at the top, you can see we have AppSync for OS 3.1 and AppSync for OS 3.2. Depending on your um, version of your firmware, you're going to tap into the one that most applies to you and install that one. Tap Install and then Confirm when this dialog appears. And it should now install it for you. It shouldn't take that too long. It shouldn't take um, very long. So just wait pretty quick actually and once it reloads all the data and everything you can just tap return to Cydia and then you can actually close Cydia because we're done with installing everything that's necessary and I'll show you the next part on actually how to move the apps onto your iPhone or iPod touch so now all you have to do is plug in your iPod into your computer and open up iTunes and we're going to it's going to sync the app automatically as you can see and then 
once it's done sinking, it should take a few seconds, depending on the size of the app, as you know. You can use the app after it's done, and then you can do this for as many apps as you want. Get them from apptracker.com and put them on your iPhone or iPod. So now we can use the app. I'm not going to show you right now since it's just a random app. You can do this for any app, but it's a very useful tool. So now that we can download and install apps on our device from our computer by using the apptracker.org website. There is also a better way to do this if you are not near your computer or if you just wanted to use the your iPhone or iPod Touch to get apps for free. All the apps you'd normally find in the App Store for free download right onto your iPod Touch or iPhone and this is how you do it and it's the reason why we installed install you install us sorry for the pronunciation and so now I'll show you how to use install us to download and install apps from the mobile version of the apptracker.org website so let's get started alright so here's how you get any app right onto your iPhone or iPod touch so you're gonna launch install us and this is what it'll look like and you can either search or browse categories but for right now go into settings and you're going to want to turn install automatically to on so that means once an app has finished downloading it will automatically install it so that's very useful and so now you can just browse any category you want they're the same categories on the apptracker.org website on your computer and the same categories in the app store as well so go ahead and find any app you want to download. They're all free, as you know, and they're all the apps that are originally in the App Store. And you can browse by popularity or update or apps, three different categories. And I'll just choose this first one here. All video, air video, sorry and you can see the description and if you scroll all the way down to the bottom there's screenshots as well look at the screenshots here and when you're ready to install it you can just scroll back up to the top and hit download and this will bring up a page of links just choose any link from the top the most recent version and if they don't work some of the links may not work you can just go back and choose another link because there's plenty of links so if you're brought to a page like this just follow any directions they have enter this captcha and click summit so now you're going to want to zoom out and let's find the download link on this page and there it is so just tap download and it should in seconds automatically start downloading it and you'll see a little notification pop up when it starts so there we go download added and if you go into the downloads tab you can see the progress I'm just gonna speed up the download just because of time constraints here and once you see it's finished downloading it's gonna automatically start start to install like we said so there we go download completed and so now it's installing install shouldn't take too long should be pretty quick and there we go install completed so you can close out of install us and open up there's the app right there so that's all. Thanks for watching and subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Thanks.